Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about how two tips can affect the performance of your Power BI report. Stay tuned. Okay, two tips. What are you talking about they can affect performance? Well, I was working with a customer recently and we noticed something about how Power BI will generate the DAX for a particular visual if more and more two tips are added to that two tip dwell. Now I'm not talking about a report two tip, we'll get to those in a bit, but I'm talking about if I create a bar chart and I just drag you know, measures and measures and measures over to that two tip dwell, what happens to the DAX, right? What, when is that query, when is that measure actually um, the query ran to generate that measure? When does it run, all right? And so we noticed that it kind of slowed things down the more and more two tips you added. And so in this video, that's what I'm gonna talk about. So instead of all this talking, you guys know how I like to do, let's head over to my laptop. All right, so what you see right here, well, this is DAX Studio. But here I have a Power BI report, right? And I'm just using a little method that Marco taught me. You start with a blank page, and then when you switch over to the page, the query is actually run, okay? And so here I have DAX Studio, and I'm gonna go ahead and get connected to that model, right? So I'm connected, I'm gonna turn on all queries, because I wanna see all the queries that come through. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch from that blank page to the page that actually contains the elements that I wanna analyze, the ones that I wanna see if performance is truly being affected by it, all right? Um, so I'm gonna switch over. If performance is affected by me, adding those two tips. And so those will render, you see those render, and I'll switch over to DAX Studio, and we have three queries, and we have three queries because there's my slicer and the two bar charts, okay? And if you take a look, let me switch back over. If you guys don't believe, these bar charts are exactly the same. Look at the, the data labels, right? They're exactly the same across both, right? And so if we go over to DAX Studio, you notice that the timings are a little different, right? So this one, this is just the slicer, right? That's a piece of cake. This one right here, this is one of the measures. And then I'm gonna double click, I mean, one of the bar charts, not measures, one of the bar charts. And then this is the other bar chart. And what you may notice, if you take a look here, is that this, the first one, only has crimes. It's only using one measure, which is crimes, which is the visible measure in my bar chart. The second one, there's other measures there and there's a little keyword that says ignore um, for those measures. And it's like, where did those measures come from? So when I was working with the customers, like, well, yeah, where did those measures come from, Patrick? I was like, ah, I got a feeling. And so if you go back over to this report and take a look, and so if I hover here, the only thing that shows up is the month and the crimes, right? Which is the measure that is being displayed. But if you come down to this one and you hover, not only do you see the month and the crimes, but you see additional measures like domestic crimes and burglaries and homicides and things like that. And those are made possible by simply dragging them over to the two tips dwell. But if we go back to DAX Studio and look at the runtime of those queries, it's almost twice right the one with the one bar the one bar chart with the two tips almost took twice the time okay and i know you're probably saying patrick this is so minimal this is nominal there's not a lot this is you know these are not even a second has taken not even half a second has um you know passed for us to render this element imagine though if you have several of these on a particular report it could take a long time if you have more measures um it could take a really long time this could start affecting performance all right so regardless if the consumer of the report hovers over that bar chart or not it's the DAX query that's generated, it's gonna be generated to include all those measures. So whether I see them or not, it's gonna happen. So let me, let me put a little asterisk on this. This, what I'm about to show you, is not a replacement for optimizing DAX or you know, correcting your, your poor, poor data model, if you have one, right? This is not a correction. Um, but if you feel your DAX is optimized and your model is great, maybe this will help you a little bit, okay? So let me, let's head back to my laptop. Let me show you something else, all right? So let me clear out this. DAX Studio, and I'm gonna to connect to a different model, right? And then I'm gonna turn all queries on. And so we'll go back to over here to this report. Now this report, you may notice immediately that I have a tool tip created. You can see that right here in the tab. If I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna load this one, okay? I'm gonna load this up, click regular tool tips, load this particular report up, right? And we're gonna to go to DAX Studio. And what you'll see is just two queries. 
two queries, right? Because those bar charts are exactly the same. Well, they're almost the same. There's a slight difference. I'll show you in just a little bit, right? There's one query for the slicer, and then there's one query for the bar charts. Not one query for each chart, one query for both charts, because both charts actually um, displaying and using, um, displaying the same measure and using the same val value on the axis month, right? There's no two tips on either one, but, but there actually is a two tip. There's a report two tip, right? So if we go back to the report and I hover over one of the bars in the bottom one, cause it actually has the two tip configured you'll see my nice little report tooltip. I know, I know it's not that pretty. It's okay if it's not that pretty. But, right, when I hover, what Power BI does is, on hover, it actually sends the query and executes the query. And you can see, right, for every one of the elements a query is executed, and I know what you may be thinking, Patrick, Patrick, the summation of all those queries is much longer than that individual, you know, than adding those tooltips. You're absolutely correct. But what I'll say about that is, do your report consumers hover over every bar? Do they even hover at all, right? So this is something you need to think about, right? You need to think smart when you're developing your reports and just dragging those two tips. If you notice things are taking a bit longer every time you add a new two tip, first you should look at your data model and optimize your DAX. If that, you know, if that fails, if you, uh, it's optimal, your DAX is optimal, your data model is great, then maybe you wanna consider taking those two tips we are removing the, two, the measures from the two-tip duel, creating report two-tips. That way, on, the only time those queries are generated is when people hover over those bar charts, all right? So I hope this helps someone. Um, maybe you guys have figured out other ways to work around this. Please let me know. Maybe you have questions, comments about this. Please let me know. You know what to do. Post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, give me a big two thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Do the. <laughs>